At the start of the movie, we see a janitor is done with the cleaning of the floor and is about to leave. He hears a sound and goes to check it out. He finds a terrified girl sitting on the floor and rushes to get help. But then, another girl bumps into him and tells him to run. Kyla is photographing everyone at school for the school yearbook. She notices Chris, their new English teacher, and her attention is drawn to him. Trisha, a prominent girl at school, notices Chris and believes she can seduce him in two days. Everyone, especially the girls, is thrilled with their new English teacher. In their first class, Chris becomes every girl's new crush almost immediately. After the class, Trisha doesn't waste any time and begins flirting with Chris. On the other side, Kyla goes to her usual hangout place and sees Riley there. She introduces herself to Riley. Riley shakes hands with Kyla and then reveals that Chris is her father. After becoming friends, Kyla asks Riley if she can come over to her house for a study session, seeing as it is an opportunity to be close to Chris. After that, we see Kyla is getting interested in Chris and takes more pictures of him. She returns home and finds her mother is getting ready to go on a date with a guy. She also notices that her mother has bought a new dress for the date. At night, Kyla dreams of Chris and pleasures herself. The next day, she goes to Riley's house. There, she doesn't waste any time and starts asking Riley questions about her father. To answer her, Riley reveals that her mother was cheating on Chris, which resulted in a divorce, and they moved to a new place. Then Kyla also tells Riley about her father, who left her when she was just six. In the meantime, when Riley goes to the bathroom, Kyla heads straight to Chris's room and imagines herself with him. The next day at school, Trisha is still trying to use her charm on Chris. She flirts with him, but Chris, being old school, doesn't catch her hints. After the class, Trisha goes to Riley and befriends her. Kyla sees them together and feels jealous. She warns Riley that Trisha is dangerous and is obsessed with Chris. Kyla explains that Trisha has a history of messing around with teachers, as she slept with a history teacher the previous year, which caused him to be substituted by another teacher for an entire year. Later that day, Kyla calls Riley and finds that Riley is turning 18 soon. As a result, Kyla suggests that she should host a birthday celebration at her house, and Kyla will assist in her gathering as many visitors as possible. She then shifts the conversation to Chris and inquires about his dating history. She discovers Chris is dating someone, who turns out to be none other than her own mother. She becomes envious of their flirting and sabotages their date. Chris is forced to spend the night with them because his clothes get filthy. While having dinner, Kyla is unable to take her eyes off Chris, but she just can't watch her mother and Chris flirting and goes back to her room. She knows that her mother and Chris are going to make out. To sabotage their moment, Kyla lies that someone was watching her change in her room and acts scared. She wants to be with her mother and Chris so that they don't get laid. There she learns from Chris that Riley is hanging out with Trisha, despite her warning. The next morning, Chris offers to take Kyla to school, as he's also going to be there after picking Riley. While they wait for Riley to come, Kyla flirts with Chris and tells him that she's a grown-up now and can do anything in life she wants. During their conversation, Riley joins them and they leave for school. At school, Kyla confronts Riley about her going out with Trisha despite her warning that Trisha is using her to get to her father. But Riley tells her that Trisha claims it wasn't her who slept with her history teacher, but Kyla herself. Kyla denies the allegation and rudely behaves with Riley, forcing her to leave. Later, Kyla confronts Trisha and threatens her to stay away from Riley. But Trisha isn't bothered by her and refuses to back down. Also, that night, Kyla takes pictures of herself in private poses. The next day, when Kyla opens her locker, she finds it filled with the pictures she took the night before. She goes straight to Chris, who assures her that he will find the person responsible for this. Riley sees them and leaves them alone. After that, Kyla and Riley make amends and apologize to each other. Kyla also reveals that it was her who slept with the history teacher, claiming that she was being manipulated. Now we see Kyla's mother is getting ready to meet Chris. Kyla examines Chris's phone when he's in the toilet and discovers private suggestive messages from Trisha. After reading the notes, Kyla's mother accuses Chris of using his students. Chris is then dumped by her mother, who asks him to go. Kyla, on the other hand, is relishing in the situation because her mother is finally out of her way. She then heads over to Chris, who is sitting in his truck, pondering what really happened. Kyla enters and begins to seduce Chris. She succeeds in seducing him and kisses him passionately. Chris cannot resist her anymore and gives in. Kyla finally got what she wanted, and she's very happy. It is then revealed that it was Kyla who sent those messages to Chris posing as Trisha. The next day at school, Chris is completely lost in class. Trisha is still trying to flirt with Chris, but Kyla interrupts her. In the meantime, the police arrive at the class and take Trisha away as they find the phone used to text Chris those messages as well as the pictures of Kyla from the locker. Later that night, Kyla goes to the party and gives her some presents. She then heads straight to Chris's room and starts seducing him. Chris is still trying to resist Kyla's advances but eventually gives in and they start making love. As they're about to have sex, 
Riley walks in and sees them together. She's disgusted by the scene and runs away. Chris tries to stop her, but it's too late and there is no going back. Chris decides to go after her, but is stopped by Kyla, who lies to him that Riley is addicted to alcohol. He ignores her and heads out to find Riley. The next morning, Riley tells Kyla's mother about everything that happened last night. At school, Chris tries to make amends with Riley, but she isn't in the mood. After the class, Kyla's mother confronts Chris and slaps him. She takes Kyla away and leaves. Kyla tells her mother that she's of legal age and she can love anyone she wants, and even claims that she and Chris are in love. Riley confronts Chris and wants to know why he did it. Chris apologizes to Riley for everything and tells her that he will not see Kyla anymore. Riley finally forgives him. The next day, Kyla calls Trisha and asks to meet her before school. When Trisha arrives, Kyla admits to framing her and starts hitting herself. She even breaks her fingers to blame Trisha. As Riley and Chris arrive, Kyla cries for help, claiming Trisha attacked her. After that, Trisha is arrested by the police and Kyla goes to the hospital. Riley and Chris go to the hospital, where Riley tells Kyla that her friendship with her father is over. Kyla appears to agree. She then asks Riley to take over her yearbook responsibilities for a basketball game that night, since her hand is injured, to which Riley accepts. Kyla also asks Riley if she can talk to her father for the last time and say goodbye. After Riley leaves, Kyla tells Chris that with Trisha gone, they can finally be together. But Chris denies her, telling her their relationship is over and that she should leave him alone. Kyla is completely obsessed with Chris and wants to further grow her relationship with him. Kyla declares that she will never leave him and reminds him that he will have to see her every day in class. So Chris decides to quit his job and get away from her and leaves to gather his belongings from the classroom. Kyla takes a scalpel from the hospital and flees. At the school, Kyla confronts Riley and tells her only one of them can be in Chris's life and stabs Riley in the stomach. She then heads to Chris's class. She holds the scalpel to his throat, telling him they are meant to be together. After that, Kyla reveals that she was the one who manipulated her previous teacher, not the opposite. Riley is still alive and tries to get help. Chris manages to push Kyla off him, but Kyla attacks Chris, who then hits his head on the table and gets unconscious. A janitor hears the commotion and stumbles upon Kyla, who pretends to be injured and asks him to get help. As the janitor runs to find help, Riley warns him to run, but Kyla catches him and kills him. As a result, the two get into a battle, with Riley eventually defeating Kyla. Riley and Kyla are both carried away in different ambulances by the police, but Riley gets shocked by the fact that Kyla is still alive. Months later, Chris and Riley have moved to a new place, and Chris is ready to take up a new teaching job, while Riley is excited about her first day of college. But as Riley is driving off to college, we see a hooded figure who we can assume to be Kyla emerge from hiding, meaning that she's still obsessively following Chris. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.